Hello and welcome to Jamaica TV, where we give you all the latest news. Now for the details. One of two men who allegedly challenged a police party in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, was fatally wounded Saturday night. The man, who is yet to be identified, passed away at hospital. The other man reported they fled the scene. It was reported at about 11.15 p.m., more than five hours after the island-wide coronavirus curfew took effect. The now deceased was accosted at the intersection of Martin Street and Manchester Street in the old capital. He is said to have brandished a rifle and the police fired. A 9mm pistol was seized. An investigation has since commenced by the Independence Commission of Investigations and the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Firefighters are currently conducting cooling down operations at the Facey Commodity Main Warehouse in Newport West after a major fire on Saturday night. According to the Jamaica Fiber Grid, all available units from the Kingston and St. Andrew area are said to be on the scene. That includes a unit from the York Park Station, Rolling Town Substation, Church Town Substation, and the Offway Tree Substation. A tanker from the Spanish Town Fire Station is also on location. It is reported that the fire started about 8 p.m. and quickly engulfed the warehouse. There were no reported injuries from the blaze. Firefighters say the cause of the blaze is yet to be determined. The family of a man from central Kingston is seeking the public's assistance in locating him. 25-year-old Garth Williams have been missing since yesterday, Saturday, October 9th. He was last seen clad in a black t-shirt and blue Adidas sports shorts. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Mr. Williams is being asked to contact the Kingston Central Police at 876-922-4089, the police at emergency number, or the nearest police station. Prime Minister Andrew Onus is encouraging persons immunized against the corona COVID-19 to help ensure accurate information about the vaccines. Onus described them as heroes and want them to become ambassadors. He's encouraging them to go back to their communities, houses, schools, churches, and marketplaces and spread the news. His address came from a vaccination blizz at Brayton New Testament Church in South St. Catherine on Friday. The location was one of three the Prime Minister visited during his vaccine, mobilization, and public education campaign tour in the parish. Over 100 doses of vaccines were administered at each of the three blessed sites in the parish on Friday. During the tour, Ona said he noted that a significant number of persons remained hesitant about getting vaccinated, primarily because of misinformation. I have not met upon any hardcore objection to vaccination. What I am really seeing is hesitancy. Residents of the community of Tel Avis Southside and Rose Gardens in Kingston Central, who have occupied land for years without a title of ownership, are to benefit from the regularization of their land tenure. These communities have been designated a Land Administration Management Program, LAMP, project area under the Cast Cadastral Mapping and Tenure Classification Special Provisions Act. Making the announcement, Member of Parliament for the constituency, Donovan Williams informed that the order has the effect of facilitating the cadastral mapping of the parcels of land therein, so that new titles can be issued and existing certificates of title can be upgraded. Simply put, the resident of these communities, by virtue of this order, now has a less cumbersome path to become title owners for the parcel of land they currently occupy, Williams said recently while making his contribution to the state of the constituent debate in the House of Representatives. The building is to be constructed during the fiscal year 2022-2023 to house the Lawrence Tavern Health Center in West Rural St. Andrew. The facility has outgrown the structure it now occupies. The project will be financed by the National Health Fund and the Cultural Health Art, Sports, and Education, Chase Fund. This was announced by the Minister of State and the Ministry of Health and Wellness and a constituency member of Parliament, Gillette Cuthbert Flynn. Currently, this space is inadequate and needs a complete renovation. The centre accommodates over 200 patients daily. 
coming from as far as Glengough in St. Catherine, which borders West Rural St. Andrew. She said making her contribution in the 2021-2022 State of the Constituency debate in the House of Representatives last Tuesday. She assured the residents of Lawrence Tavern that the community's road, infrastructure, and water are being prioritized for improvement, adding that the work will continue throughout all four divisions in the constituency. Cuthbert Flynn further informed that the work will commence shortly to rehabilitate farm roads in Rosehall, Lawrence Tavern, at a cost of $8 million while indicating that she would seek to have similar engagements initiated in other areas of the constituency.